Is social media bad or good? We're getting right into it. Now, I'm an actual social media consultant, so it's a little bit difficult for me to tackle this subject because it's my livelihood, but I'm out for the truth, and I wanna find out if social media really is bad for you or good for you, if it's bad for business or good for business. So I wanna share the things that have been on my mind and what I've found recently. I'm guessing on everybody's phone, You've probably got social media apps like crazy. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, podcasting, whatever you may consider a social media platform, you probably have it downloaded on your phone. But the real question is, is this bad or is it good? Is it actually providing value or is this detrimental to me? Now doing what I do, I'm on social media constantly. I'm always trying to find out what's working, what's not working on social media. I'm working with clients to help them grow their social media. So yeah, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I wanna prove that social media is overall good, but I do wanna talk about some of those negative elements as well, because I think it's important that we know both sides of this coin. Let's start off with the bad things. We all know those people that are out there to make their lives seem perfect, and this is probably the number one thing that's wrong with social media right now, and has been since its conception. There is nothing genuine or good about pretending to be someone you're not. Even if it makes you more money, it's generally not a great strategy to have. People will find out that you're a phony and they're gonna stop following you and it's going to have negative consequences on your life in general. So in regards to people that are fake on social media or that aren't completely honest about their lives or make things seem way better than they really are, I don't know why they're hiding and I don't know why they don't feel they can be vulnerable in front of other people, but this is not good on social media. And we need to be able to talk about the vulnerabilities as well as the great things in our lives. We should be able to see the holistic approach of somebody's life as opposed to only seeing what's good. There are people out there that really go after the sob story and they go on the other side of this extreme and they tell only bad stuff about their life. They're far too vulnerable, probably to the point where they're actually making some of it up. That's not good either. There has to be a balance where we're really being ourselves. So if we're going to be making videos or content or posts on social media, we should be ourselves. And when we're not doing that on social media, we're failing. And that's when it becomes bad. Another reason why it's bad, other than just the fake people in general, is that it takes so much time. And if it's not your job, or if it's not really making your business money, should you be spending so much time meandering through Instagram for no reason? Probably not. You should be spending that time doing something that's more important, frankly, something that's a higher priority. Now, with that said, there are so many great things about social media, and I do believe that genuinely from the bottom of my heart that social media is overall awesome for us. It's good for our personal lives, it's good for business especially, but only if we use it correctly. Now, keep in mind the negatives that I mentioned. As long as we're being genuine and being ourselves and we're not afraid to show our life or our content through a real, true lens, Social media is a really impactful tool to reach people and influence them. I get the feeling that when I say influence, you're really only thinking of the term influencer, but I'm really just talking about reaching people with a message. And that can be for something that has nothing to do with making money or business at all but just sharing a positive message about an issue that's important. Never before in the world have we had the opportunity to scale messages quite like now with social media. And that can be really impactful for important messages and issues that are going on right now. But also for business, it's so important to be on social media because that's where your competitors are. So if you're not there, you're gonna miss out automatically. And then once you're there, if you're not doing something different and being unique, you're going to miss out even further. There's so much opportunities, and when there's opportunity, there's also the fear of missing out and the consequences of not capitalizing on the opportunity. And so social media right now, that's a big opportunity that we can't pass up on. So really, if I had to say, if I had to pick one, is it good or is it bad? I'd lean toward it being good but only if it's done properly. I'm assuming that most of you watching this are really genuine on your social media accounts, whether you're watching this on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you may be watching it, I'm guessing that you're genuine to who you are and you're being true with your followers. And if you're not, 
that's okay. I encourage you to refresh right now and make a commitment that you're going to make true content that really mirrors who you are as a person instead of trying to make some fake persona. When we're genuine on social media, we can provide incredible value and influence to people that's never been seen before in the world, so you really should be capitalizing on it. That's all I have for now. I hope you'll let me know in the comments below, do you think social media is good or bad?